Hey guys, guess what I have? I have lithium batteries. They're going in our coach. We're just about ready to get this project started. Follow along and see where we go with this. Gary, Stacy, Spirit, and Sophie. We're taking our motor home around the country. Around North America, we're on the road. It's Powhana Travels, here we go. Here we go. Converter number one in place. Very nice. Wow, I never knew you could sit in our battery bay. I never knew I could sit in the battery bay either. <laughs> it's actually quite voluminous uh, up here towards the top side. Whew. One inverter mounted. The other inverter's going over there. Batteries all in the middle here and other components and parts and pieces. I just gotta find places for them as we get, as we get to it. It's gonna be a tight one, but it's gonna be so awesome. Victron, 3000 watt, 24 volt with a 70 amp charger. Puts out 120 volts to the, in, to the uh, circuit breaker panel. I've got two of those. We're gonna light up our circle breaker panel like we're on 50 amp service. We're excited. This is awesome. Epic. Elevating the story for Battleborn, our sponsors. Elevating the story for ENTV, our platform. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> yeah, RV Nomad. <laughs> I got nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> it's late, man. It's late. It's been a long day. We'll line them all up in a, in a second. We'll get the first, last one in. There. Last one in. All right. So four of the ten are in. <sighs> Look at that! Freaking beautiful. <laughs> Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Good job, guys. Well, as you can see, for the night, we've got all 10 batteries in the bay in their position. This is just for storage tonight, so they're in a safe spot. If you can imagine, tomorrow the front row of batteries will come out, and we will put the other inverter in on the left-hand side here. And uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's going here, too. Yes. TCS. Somewhere I have to figure out where to put a solar controller. That might go on the other wall, on the other side over here, in that bay. Gary, you're running your 12 volts, and how is that? This stuff? <laughs> oh yeah, so we, so I got the old Trojans down here still hooked up. All the, the uh, well I don't have the inverter hooked up, but I got the house 12 volt uh, lines hooked up right here. So we have all of our 12 volt stuff available. Um, I didn't hook up the inverter because I didn't really want to for what, a night or two. But uh, we got 12 volts, so we can have our that lights, kind of stuff. Lights, toilet, and all that. lights and toilet, water, water pump. Um, we're plugged into the Najedlo solar trailer um, for our refrigerator. We run an extension cord from the solar trailer to the refrigerator, and we got a power strip inside, so we actually do have uh, 120 for uh, charging purposes and this and that. So and our fan and fans because it's warm. So we're not too far off of uh, regular living. Okay, we're uh, running wire for our uh, inverters and such. I've got four runs of 6.2 to take care of. I went, ran one run preliminarily to get a measure, and now we've got three bundles of 6.2 going down. I got John outside, and uh, he's helping me uh, feed this down through the bathroom, and we're just gonna go on outside, and we're gonna eventually take it all the way forward to the generator bay. Good 
to me, Gary. Do it. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, he oh, likes yeah. it. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay, keep it coming. Yep. Oh, that's it. Right there, right there. Okay. Right there. We're having fun. <laughs> so this is the end of our three run of 6-3. So you see I've color coded. We got white, yellow, and there's, there's green in here too. I've color colored both ends of the wire so I know what wire is going where. That's going to be important because uh, two of them are going to the inverter and two of them are coming from the inverter. So I don't want to get these things mix, mixed up. Now we're going to push this thing through the middle of the rig. Gary, you got a 24 volt system. Why do you have two coming and going? I got two inverters. I got to feed both inverters. More power. Okay, fine. <laughs> and you are there. Just so you know. But uh, Stacy and Gary got real smart at one point and decided that they were going to have something that they could put in their bays now, and move it around. Stacy's mother gave that to them for Stacy's birthday. So Stacy's mother at one point got really smart and for a birthday gift gave Stacy and Gary a portable switch. And this is just like the red button. Honey, what was that button? The easy button. The easy button. And this is the easy button because it gives you light and you can put it on anywhere metal and if you wanted you could actually take the 3M tape off and put it somewhere permanent but Gary has been using this so much everywhere he's been going uh, and working that I just picked up three of them myself because this is super awesome. Thank you Stacy's mother. You know one of these times that's not going to be a fart. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to fart. Okay. Trying to get up man. I've had bad accidents like that before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brenda! <laughs> oh! I need a new pair of shorts! Hey! <laughs> Not my problem! <laughs> One, two, three! One, two, three! Hey guys, welcome back to the Battery Bay here of the Disco. Um, I've been working on the DC side of things quite a bit uh, today. Uh, you can see I've got a lot of the negative uh, wiring run back here. We've got the Victron shunt, we've got a bus bar, and then the two slow starts, one for, one for each inverter. On the, on the positive side of the DC line, we've got a uh, catastrophic fuse for each inverter, as well as an off-on switch for each inverter. Uh, and then uh, the lines run, will run into the inverters from here. Uh, I've also wired up here this little uh, blue box up here in the corner is our DC to DC converter, our 24 volt to 12 volt DC converter. Um, I'm, I need to get some more batteries in here and hooked up, and then that'll be uh, powering the house later today with um, lithium battleborn battery energy. So it's been a big day today. And it's windy. And it's windy again. So we apologize. You may not be able to hear me, but hey, I'm here. All right. We're on lithium power, folks. We just hooked up the batteries to the DC to DC converter to power up our 12 volt accessories in the house. Everything's working perfectly fine. This is great. One benefit, a huge benefit to the 24 volt system is when you use a DC to DC converter, it takes that 24 volts and turns it down to a constant 13.2 volts. So all of your accessories in your motorhome on your 12 volt side are gonna just run beautifully because it's continuous solid power i'm excited this is great and i'm very proud of gary for taking on this epic install in a rural setting boondocking and Deal dealing with mother nature, with mother nature. Oh, we've got we've got called off of this uh, install probably four times in the last four days it's been uh windy and crazy and wow now we're not done by any means. We're just done today. So. Oh, and we don't have 120 in here yet. Oh. No, no, no. That's that's not today. That's tomorrow. <laughs> that's not today. That's a whole different. But the lithium is now powering our 12 volt system. The lithium is powering system. our 12 volt system. Oh yeah, we're not on the old batteries. We're not anymore. on the old batteries. Very cool. Well, I'm just the wife. This is above my pay grade. So. I'm just the RV owner who tinkers around a little bit and likes to play. All right. Well, I see raindrops on our windshield right now. Yes. Let's just take a peek outside so you can see what we're dealing with. It's 
pretty windy. We packed up camp as best as we could real quick. There is the Najedlo's solar trailer that's keeping was keeping us on life support. Oh, we still are. We still plug in. But as you can tell, those trees, they're kind of going sideways a little bit. And we've got some dark clouds up in the mountains. Well, job well done today, babe. Thanks a lot. I was hoping to work a little bit longer today. But uh, once again, Mother Nature dictates how we uh, do things sometimes. Yeah, we don't have the comforts of our shop. No, I wish I missed that. <laughs> All right, so until tomorrow, guys. As always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We thank you for watching. Until next time, Pow Hana. Hana.